Today we're going to be using the Michigan Kidney Transplant Trainer in order to practice the renal vein anastomosis during a kidney transplant. The first step in the renal vein anastomosis is anchoring the superior and inferior aspects of the anastomosis with a stay suture. These can be placed forehand or backhand depending on the best angle for the surgeon. Once the stitches are placed, the knot is tied down in order to anchor both ends. Shots can be placed on this to hold tension while the anastomosis is sewn. Following a blind back wall stitch, the back wall of the anastomosis is run. For this anastomosis, we used 5 proline. These do not need to be tiny bites as there is a lot of room during this part of the anastomosis. If the vein is friable, Adding a couple of millimeters to each bite can also help thing, to hold things together. The transition from the back wall to the front wall is, is what, with what we call the triple stitch. The back wall stitch is then continued along to exit out of the front wall of the iliac vein. This allows the surgeon to continue with a forehand anastomosis along the anterior portion. In order to complete the anastomosis, we run to the midpoint of the suture line and then transition back to our stay suture in order to tie the knot in the middle of the anastomosis. In a real life situation, this would be filled with heparinized saline in order to avoid a back wall stitch. The Michigan Kidney Transplant Trainer can be used with learners of all ages in order to gain experience both suturing in a deep spot as well as the techniques of the renal vein to iliac anastomosis.